We are quickly approaching the month of October and so the countdown is running to the world's most important plastics trade fair in Düsseldorf. We gave ourselves the task of visiting the most innovative companies in plant and machine manufacturing and today we are the guests of the Kraus Maffei Group in Munich. Kraus Maffei was founded in 1838 and has its headquarters in Munich. The corporation is represented globally with 30 branch offices, 10 production plants and 570 trade and service partners around the world. Dr. Frank Stieler is the chairman of the management board. Around 4,500 employees generate an annual turnover of 1.21 billion euro with the manufacture of injection molding plants, reaction technology as well as extrusion technology for customers in the automotive, packaging, pharmaceutical, construction, electronics and household appliance industries. The Klaus Maffei Group booths at the K-Trade Fair will be in Hall 15. I was welcomed to the Munich corporate headquarters by Peter Roos, one of the managing directors of Kraus Maffei, who obviously has clear ideas as to how Industry 4.0 would affect his company and the entire economy. Today, we'll acquaint you with the often used term Industry 4.0 from the point of view of a plastics machine manufacturer, with benefits for a plastics processing company, which we subsume under the term Plastic 4.0. Which subsections does this include? We are mechanical engineers. The first subsection is of course the machine itself, an intelligent machine, an example of which I'd like to mention here, the APC, with which the machine finds its own ideal operating points and readjusts during operation. The second, integrated production. For the machine to run best, it must be connected to the entire production network. And the third is that the machine has to run constantly in the best possible setup during normal operation too. We offer several solutions for this which hide behind the term interactive services. And we are allowed to film all this today with our cameras? We'll show you part today and save the rest for the K. I look forward to it. Thank you. We'll meet again in Düsseldorf. Look forward to seeing you there. Thanks. Bye. Hello, Herr Breuning. Hi, Herr Marshall. What exactly lies behind Plastics 4.0? Essentially, for Kraus Maffei Bersdorf, Plastic 4.0 covers the plant control system we developed. What exactly do you operate with that? We can operate entire extruders, up to eight of them. We can operate all the downstream components. We can prepare the quality parameters. We can prepare all the throughput rates as well as the process parameters. Very exciting. And now I'm going to see what that looks like in production. Hello, Frau Bayerling. Hello, Herr Marshall. Good to see you. Let's go into details with the example of this pipe extrusion line. In the past, how long was needed to set up machinery like this? Changing the diameter of an entire extrusion line from 160 to 110 mm took one operator about two hours. And today, in the age of Industry 4.0, how fast is it? With the push of a button, it's done. You simply choose the set of parameters you want in combination with the required diameter, push the button, and within a few seconds, the entire line is ready to produce on the fly. Automatically? Fully automatic. Next to us here is a machine which was set up for testing purposes. You're not bringing this to the K with you. What can no. we expect there? We will present the even bigger, newer generation of extrusion lines and I will show it to you at the K-Trade Fair. I'll see you there. But beforehand, I'll still go and see what's new in the plastics injection molding area. Thank you. With pleasure. Herr Dr. Schiffers, how is Industry 4.0 influencing the injection molding process of the future? Machines will become more intelligent and support the operator in his job. That's a product which could be produced on such a machine. What can we see here? Here's an example of our machine APC function. This is how the component should look. Relevant here is the filling of this element at the end of the flow path, this nose I call it. You can see that a change in the viscosity of the material increased flow resistance and the component then did didn't fill properly. The machine is able to measure this change in viscosity in the raw material, to recognize it and to correct things accordingly, so that 100% of the components are good. Very exciting. Now I learned from your colleague how that's of benefit in service. Have fun. Hello, Herr Davatz. Hello, Herr Marshall. What exactly are you doing here? I'm scanning the machine information via a QR code, as the customer will do in future. Which details can you get on your iPad from here? 
Service technicians, as well as the customer, can download manuals, he can download the machine's history or send a ticket. So for you, Industry 4.0 doesn't just mean the big picture, but also detailed work in day-to-day -day business? Detailed day-to-day -day work and an improvement in the machine's availability. That sounds good. Thank you for the insights. Now I'm going to see what your booth in Dusseldorf will look like. Thanks. Bye. Hello, Frau Werner. Hello, Herr Marshall. If I want to visit you at the K, where do I have to come? You have to come to Hall 15. Which highlights are you bringing to the trade fair? We will display our Industry 4.0 solutions and additionally we will present some of our new machines to the public for the very first time. Particularly I would like to invite you to join our world premiere on the first day of the K at 11.30 in the morning. Ben, I would say we'll meet again there in Düsseldorf. Yes, I will see you there. Bye. Thank you. Bye. That was my day at Kraus Maffei in Munich, a corporate group at which I didn't only get to know a lot of new people, but above all, new topics. If you would like, we'll meet again for the next edition of Countdown.